What's up everybody? Finally, after long last, we are back with a new build for Remnant 2. Now, yeah, I've been absent on the Remnant 2 build content. Uh, Fennin and I have been ultra-focused on finishing it up on Apocalypse Run of the Hex Bros. So if you don't know about the Hex Bros, look it up in my uh, Remnant 2 playlist. We have finished the entire game, full run Nightmare, full run Apocalypse, all world bosses, uh, all mid bosses on those runs. Uh, no bullets, no melee. It, it was insane. Beating Annihilation was crazy. It took us like a few weeks, like hours and hours and hours of getting the pattern down and nailing it perfect, especially with those modifiers in Apocalypse when they have elemental resist. It, everything had to line up so well. So after that, I was on a bit of burnout and I didn't really know what to do. I had, uh, you know, I'd been putting together my melee builds, which I loved. Oh my God. Yeah. We are actually focused on a melee run right now. We're, we're doing melee good times and it's, it's a freaking blast. Um, but I didn't know what to build and I decided I was going to do a hugs build, but I was going to do my hugs build. So if you've seen my other build videos, you know, I'm not building for the most damage. I'm not building to drop a boss as quick as possible. I am not building for survivability. I'm building to have a blast to world run and survive the gauntlet in the open world of these games. So you'll see after we run through what this build is, how I set it up. You'll see a few different instances, my usual runs. I was so stoked to get back to Imperial Gardens with this. Imperial Gardens is the best testing grounds for any ranged build. It's almost the best testing ground for any build in Apocalypse. It is so freaking annoying. It's so hard. Those flying enemies come at you from everywhere. You get surrounded, you're in so much trouble. So if a build can go through that clean, you know you've got something really well made. And uh, again, I like to say, if you get through there in Apocalypse, if you don't want to run this on Apocalypse and you're running on Veteran or you're running on uh, Nightmare, it's uh, it's it's even more powerful and even better for you. So I hope you have fun with it. So I've built my hugs build. This is the high speed hugs, everybody. High speed hugs. We are handing them out like candy. Let's uh, let's take a look at what I've put together. Okay. So obviously, hunter, hunter's mark, primary, gunslinger, bullet storm, secondary. We all know, like, if you don't know all about hugs yet, you can, you can, you'll figure it out quick. I've gone with the legacy protocol. I just want to keep popping these skills. The whole point of this build is just to always have high speed hugs running, 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 running. Now, let's talk about some rings. Let's ring it in, ring it in. It's practically ringing in a new year. Uh, I think almost most important is that crit damage increase 30%. And then we're looking at the uh, reduction of skill cooldowns here. Um, Burden of the Rebel is actually, there's a few things you can switch it out for depending on what you want to do. If you're doing well and your survivability is good, you can put on the one that, uh, is it Lighthouse Keeper that takes away a little bit of your health every time you use it and stuff. So yeah, you can kind of, you can kind of tinker with what you got. And, uh, there's another aspect to really kind of amplifying this build that we'll look at, uh, in a bit here. And then I put on the Fey Hunter just for that increased range, especially using kind of, uh, two more fast, faster paced weapons. Um... I wanted something to give me that range to really be able to take enemies on at a distance because I got to get a few shots into them. I'm not doing the rifles. I'm not doing that one hit kill thing. Um, everyone's already done that. You've all seen that. We're doing we're doing high speed hugs here. Uh, and then I put on the hero sword because I, I just thought the hero sword was fitting. Um, we won't really see any melee play with this at all. But let's start talking about Monarch. Monarch was a gun I loved as soon as I got it from the Awaken King DLC. Um, it's just got such a neat mod to use, especially for a hugs build, because if you hit the crit point with that, uh, harpoon mode, those homing rounds are dealing reduced damage, but what you're doing is you're building up your influence, and then when that influence hits, you're just cranking everything out. So you gotta kinda make a little sacrifice here and there, and again, like I said, this build is built for fun. This is what we're doing. We're having a blast. We're still having a blast playing Remnant 2 how long after it came out. And it has honestly not failed me. Like, it, this just keeps on giving. So uh, I really recommend you uh, you check it out. And then if you look at what we've done with the, the, the uh, Mutator on there, Bullet Weaver plus 10 mod use increases fire rate of this weapon. So when you fire that Harpoon, you're getting an increased fire rate. So you're increasing how quick you can get that influence built up to get you to that 20% increased damage with infinite ammo. So you're really in there. But you are also got a level 10 on the mutator that gives you increased mod generation for this weapon. So not only does this mod 
regenerate immediately anyways and it, it builds up your influence faster it's all working out so bullet weaver is the way to go for this guy this is huge all right what do we got here we got the bolt driver let me tell you about the bolt driver and the funny thing is, is so i've just i have just been testing this so from testing this we are gonna go and we're gonna level up this bolt driver to a plus 20 because it's not even plus 20 yet and this build is doing good work the bolt driver just delivers that burst, and with the high-speed hugs, it, it's really knocking enemies on their ass. It's great. Uh, absolutely stoked on what I picked for the secondary for this. Having a blast with it. So, with defrag on, defrag is a really neat and really fun little thing to use because if you pop your mod, you get those hits, and then you're, you're picking up those glitches, you're increasing that damage. And then even if you don't pick up the glitch you can go ahead and use that in another way so it's like it's a really neat mod to have with this build uh really recommend it so mutator mutator is really good on this one too very different different than the most of the stuff a lot of the stuff i find i use is very similar but we got battery on here which increases the weak spot damage and that increase in weak spot damage is great because you're burst firing so you're no matter if you're hitting a weak spot you're hitting it with all four rounds or how many ever rounds are going out in this one it's pretty fantastic so and then what you can do is you can stack that up and then once you have max stacks your crit chance goes up on weak spot hits it's, it's made it's made to be it's made to be okay all right, so Relic is straightforward. What we have uh, are the Relic Fragments, I think, are what are always important. And I think this is what you see on pretty much all Hugs builds. Though I haven't I haven't watched any Hugs builds videos and stuff. I know all about it. I haven't been too interested. I have fun with this game. It's how I play. Uh, so, yeah, you got your Mythic Range crit chance, your Mythic Range crit damage, and then you got your Mythic Range damage just for straight up shooting. Um, <coughs> it's, this is a crit build. Hugs is all about crit. It's all about crit damage. And I'm playing it different. And let's talk about aesthetics again. I kind of like what they did with the armor in this. I think they did a great job because everything kind of looks good tied together, and I like my stuff to look good. So, of course, we've got the the High Noon hat. Then we got that Night Stalker garb, nice trench coaty. The Radiant Greaves are looking dope under there. We got that red and blue, red, white, and blues. I'm not from America, but I love America. And if you do look closely, we kind of have the Jurassic Park emblem in there. You know, no copyright on me or anything like that, guys. But, you know, na 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 And one thing I love is that you can throw those Leto Mark IIs on. And due to, I believe it's the Night Stalker garb, you still get the nice clean hand look so you don't have those bulky arm pieces on, but you get the armor benefits from it. So... Traits. What do we got? Ammo reserves. You need lots of ammo to run this build. Flashcaster is only up to our final set. Uh, mod and skill casting speed is important, but at the same time, I didn't find it as important. Fortify, extremely important. Long shot comes with our class, and ammo reserve obviously comes with the class, but you need those anyway. So if you're switching stuff up, just be aware you want these. You want that range. Swiftness, where you want to be able to move, you want to be able to get away from stuff. We got spirit and expertise as must for me. They go on everything. And then we're looking at handling. Weapon spread and recoil. We want to hit our shots. Bark skin, reduce your damage. Footwork, increase movement speed while aiming. So you can be a little bit more fly with your style while you're in gunfights. And of course, Scyther, because that's where we're trying to get our healing. We don't get a ton of healing with this build. This is all about you got to kill stuff before it kills you. And this game will kill you, so you got to kill stuff before it kills you. That's how we do it. Um, okay. Is there anything else I have missed going over here? I don't think so. Let's uh, let's go level up the impact driver here quick. We'll do this together. This is a new thing for my for my build. Usually I, huh, what can I, do I generally uh, make sure my stuff's all set, but I was out in the field playing around, and then when this clicked, it clicked, and we are sticking with it. So impact driver. Let's go. That's a 20. Might as well take this to 10 also. We got so much so much stuff to You upgrade. know where to find me. So we got a fully level build. We're all ready to go. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. Do me a huge solid. Come along for all the adventures. Join us in our Remnant Fest. It's going to keep going all through the year. When they drop DLCs for this game, it's going to be one of my biggest focuses. Uh, on top of that, please hit the like button if you like this content, if you like what you're seeing, if you like builds, if you like having fun, if you like just messing around with Remnant 2 like I do. Um, and again, check out my Hexbros videos. Those are getting little coverage, and I think it's something that no one else has really done. 
Uh, I know there are the synergizing loadouts, the uh, people who have brought up the bus driver and other videos I've dropped and stuff like that, but the Hex Bros is a very different synergizing loadout and a very different way to play this game. It's crazy, it's intense, it's punishing, and it was super fun. So, I will catch you all in the world. I will show you how to kill stuff with high-speed hugs, and uh, I hope you can make your own opinion about this. Get in the comments. Let me know what you change. As always, I love hearing what people vary in the builds, what they recommend. There's so much gear in this that even when I pour through and do a build, like, I generally, like, know what I'm after, and I put those in, and sometimes I'll read through stuff, but, like, every once in a while, someone comes up with a comment, and I'm just like, wow, that is genius. I can't believe I missed that. So, you know, get in those comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you change, and uh, as always, you are appreciated. See you soon. All right, everybody, here we are, Imperial Gardens. We are build testing high-speed hugs here. This is my hugs build, as I mentioned before, and it's how I play. I don't build my builds for the massive damage or for bossing or any of that. I like to build stuff that I like to have fun with, but it's also quite functional and can survive some of the more unforgiving situations you find yourself in in this game. So, yeah, we're on Apocalypse. We are back in Imperial Gardens after all my melee runs. Uh, finally back uh, at my favorite uh, uh, ranged testing grounds. So let's uh, let's see see what happens here. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. Nice and easy first. And all headshots. All headshots. Oh, not a lot of crit coming out of that. Oh. What's this little pump pass do? So, I call it high speed because I've picked I've picked a couple weapons. Watch it, it's rounded. Gotta be careful here. And that's why I'm loving this secondary we've got, the uh, impact driver. It just, it delivers, a, like, a quick, fast burst Damn. of damage onto, uh, onto the enemies, room. and it's wicked. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's great for taking this out these little dudes, like, these little doofuses. Just mows them down. Now, did we actually pull Buddy from up here? I think we got another one of these guys to, uh... Yeah, we did. Oh, look at that, full charge. Let's get those weak squad. Oh, look at the crit come through. He's done. High speed hugs, I tell you. You know, like a lot of people built, they built their hugs based know. off of like that immense amount of damage you can put forth. I did not do that. Oh. I built my hugs based off of like high power rifles and like just neat different weapons was kind of what I was going for. Um, let's go. I want to see where everyone is here. Oh, coming in from behind, eh? Get you down quick. Oh, surrounded. If I catch one of these, I'm dead. Take a heal. No, I quite no often room. forget to heal. All right, let's check this out. Let's get these going, because this is fun. This is a it's a really dope little mod to run. That extra damage is super cool. Defrag. Um, and, and again, like, the impact driver, just... Solid little damage burst coming out of it. Just enough to really put stuff down. Got. I think we got something big coming on here. Like, as long as you hit... As long as you hit these guys with a burst, like, in a decent spot, they're all... They all go right down. They don't... They don't make it through. And this thing, like, the fire rate, and then... The reason I'm using this, because I just find it neat having a hugs build on and being able to kind of... Kind of target a guy and put like if you can hit that if you can hit the seeker round in their crit spot and then just let them have it like it's just wicked 
So I'm also such a Chicago typewriter guy. Like I have, I was, I had such a hard time All right, let's not do this. using the Chicago typewriter on this. So like Chicago typewriter has been one of my favorite guns for this entire game. Who is this? Where is it? There's our. Is this our guy? Shit, missed it. Okay, this is good. Coffee. That was not our guy. Where is our guy? This is our guy. God damn it. Wait, hey, is this our guy right here? I can't tell which one it is. There we go, we got him. Look at that, just fucking gone. Okay, one big thing is, you know, it's lovely getting that infinite ammo, but uh, I'm Ooh. definitely noticing I've gone ahead and put my ammo okay. boxes back on my quick bar, because uh, we are we are cleaning through those quick. But uh, yeah, I had like... I can't carry this is super fun. Now, if you're unaware, uh, Fen and I just finished, and like we're super excited. You know, doing we're doing a melee run now. We did the Hex Bros. So if you haven't seen my Hex Bros. stuff, you should check it out. We did an entire playthrough of this game uh, without using firearms and without using melee weapons. Uh, we did use mods off of firearms, but we tried to have everything be very like AOE specific. Uh, nothing that resembled a bullet or a shot oh, projectile. Come on. Um, more of the, along the lines of we used to summon things that we could, but uh, we cleared the entire game on Nightmare difficulty and then Apocalypse difficulty. And coming out of that, we're going into a melee playthrough. But we've also been talking about both of us doing a hugs playthrough together, and we're just we are one of the things like yeah, I'm I'm figuring out what builds I want to do here. But like, look at they, they just go down. These guys are just getting shredded by this. One, one burst and we're done. That's great. This is a great little gun for this. Uh, yeah, and we are we are super excited to do kind of like a couple playthroughs with all this. When we'll get to doing that, you know, like it's a little it's a little more scattered now. Seeing as uh, seeing as the fact that we're kind of like we're we're slowing down on this until we get DLC. I again, like I said, I'm playing a lot of Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. I don't know if you're one of those people that was very questionable about the live service aspect. For the price tag on that game, what you get out of it. Okay. It's so good. It's so worth its value. Look at these guys sneak up beside it. Yes, this thing. You don't even need like I basically am using the uh, my rifle for uh, the main bads. I, I mean, like this is about the point where I shut this down. I don't think I need to go further into Imperial Gardens. Mm. In fact, as far as my builds go, that's one of the easier runs through I've ever had. Like hugs is gross. It's always been gross. I've always avoided it because, like I said, I don't do like the the main main builds. But since I don't have much, I'm thinking of building. This is my high speed hugs, high speed weapons, super fast, super quick, super fun. So check it out. And uh, yeah, as I said, so. Playing a lot of other things, the content drops a lot slower on this one, but I do have tons of recordings to drop when I get to editing them for the Hex Bros run-throughs. We're going to do every world boss, every mid-boss, and kind of tie them all together. Uh, so you'll see all that. And uh, from here, we're going to move into uh, a new area to keep testing this build out with more kind of uh, foot soldier type enemies and uh, see how it goes. But I just want to take this midpoint and say thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all your support. The Remnant community has been some of my biggest supporters, and I freaking love this game, and I love the community, and uh, I'm stoked about what I'm doing. So uh, just, just big ups, and uh, cheers to all of you. We'll see you in the next area. All right, future domain.
my favorite melee testing ground, but because we've come to enjoy it so much, we're gonna do uh, bring bring these putrid bastards a little uh, bullet hell. So nice delivering the bullet hell as opposed to being on the receiving end. And uh, honestly, uh, I've been through a few times uh, when I was like, you know, build testing and just doing the trial runs. And it, it's pretty. This one actually felt pretty simple. Pretty good. Just absolutely oh, drop bags inside. full. Oh, we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll do a. We'll do a weird little loop on this one. Here we go. This guy is fucking nasty. Oh yeah, you run away. Run away, buddy. Here he comes. Oh yeah, we got you. Later. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> hugs. Ugh. High speed hugs. None of this like one or two shots. Like, you know, keep them around. Make it slow burn. Make them suffer. Make them suffer for what they've done to us in the past, everybody. Bring the pain. All right, we gotta go, I wanna go clear that other room. Maybe we'll get an aberration. And I know we took the little offhand road, so we'll head back the other way quick, clear out the uh, two floor room, see if uh, the game wants to spit any big nasties out at us, and then we'll just go from there. Yeah, this is it. This is where we wanna be. Oh, big in the middle. What do we got here? That's it. Yeah, okay. I got no average. That. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go see. Let's get these guys out here. Let's kill everything we can. Damn it. Oh, he wants to just sit. Kneecap. Oh, oh, that guy was almost sea walking there. You coming out? Ha. Okay. I'm going to call that it for here. Let's go take on a couple of elites in the same room, see what happens. And I got one more thing to show you about the build, so stay tuned. We're going to finish up right after this. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for spending your time with us. <sighs> Alright everybody, here we are in Dyer's End. Fitting place to end the gameplay showcase for High Speed Hugs build. And I have activated the final part of the build 
you can get in the comments let me know if you know what it is and uh, I will I will say it in the description so check the description uh, the video description what it was but uh, yeah something that I think can be a uh, highly overlooked in this game and something that's extremely important and I just want to play with it like I actually like kind of avoiding them and just kind of putting a build through the through the steps without I, I like to try and maximize what it can do without implementing all the little things we have anyways I didn't even think. I didn't even think to. I just wanted to use because I like the monarch so much. Like, like, that was nutty. That was absolutely. Look at the regen with uh, with what I added. Look at look at how fast that skill is coming back. Look at the hunter skill. Wow. Unbelievable. All right, I'm having fun here. So let's uh, let's keep going a little bit longer before I say body all. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? You shoot it into the wall so it's a direct line on where he would be standing. For one, I love it when you can get them in the in the like line of fire of the monitor. No, did we just catch that guy in the dome? Jesus Christ! Okay, that's too good. We gotta kill it there. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Do me a huge solid. Hit that like button. Um, the high speed hugs. Full. I'm into it. You know, um, I've avoided hugs for so long, but I think I've kind of done it very different. Um, it's not your general, like, one-hit killer. It's not the ones I've seen so far. It's kind of mine. It's fun. These two guns are wicked. The Monarch, the Impact Driver. Yeah, give it a shot. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Check the description if you want to know what we've done to switch the build up and really drive up those skill cooldowns, as you can see the reset on them there. And uh, all I can say is thanks so much for your time and thanks for being a part of the community. Those of you that are, that are coming back, watching my videos. Um, I just want to say, like, I get great watch hours and my viewership. Everything's been fantastic. It, it makes me really stoked to be doing YouTube. And I make a lot of, like, I, I, if you've seen my actual channel, aside from my random content, like, I put up tons of content and stuff gets no views, no hits, and, like, 10, 12 views on a lot of it. But, like, I play so many different games and it doesn't matter what I put up, but the stuff that attracts people and they stick around for and they're watching and interacting with, like, you know, thanks so much. Like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to stop doing this. I'm going to keep putting up the gameplay video of games that only get 10 or 12 videos. I love video games, like, so much. And uh, I've come to really enjoy sharing them, and, uh, and I've really enjoyed my uh, journey on YouTube, and I'm looking forward to where it goes. So, yeah, I appreciate all of you. I appreciate everyone that took the time to watch and has uh, stuck around and join the community here so you know props to you adios one last cheers we're dead <laughs>